All right, legends, welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna go ahead and learn how to accept money through our QuickBook invoices through direct bank transfer and credit cards. So what we're gonna do is, really quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new customer of ours, and I'm just gonna fill out one thing. I'm gonna call it Josh's Hot Dogs as the middle name. <laughs> and let's go ahead and click Save. Now let's go ahead and create an invoice. We'll say that these guys just owe us hundred bucks. We'll just put one description. They owe us one hundred dollars. Unit quantity one rate one. It's a service for some reason, so we can't accept tax. Okay, let's go ahead and click save and send. Now let's go ahead and send it to an email that you already have access to. So preferably your own. So I'm just going to do ch at villageparksource.com. But as you can see, we have online payment turned off. So let's go ahead and turn that on just like that. And let's go ahead and click save and send right here in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, let your customers pay online, pay to you by bank transfer or credit card. That's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and send this. Give it a second, give it a second. Okay, so here is where they want us to sign up either for a $20 monthly fee or a zip zero dollar monthly fee so if you look at this you can you can quickly tell that if you're not selling that much you highly i highly recommend you go with pay as you go it's zero dollars a month uh if you're selling a lot of volume i would go ahead and click just pay the twenty dollars um you could just look at it really quick right here a direct bank transfer is 50 cents i highly recommend having your customers pay you through a direct bank transfer. But on the other hand, you can't really tell your customers how to pay you after you send them the invoice. It's about 50-50 for me. I get lucky sometimes for maybe a $3,000 invoice. They only take 50 cents. But if you go ahead and send them, if they prefer to send them with a credit card, it's going to go ahead and since it's not a credit card swipe, you're not at a restaurant, they have to go ahead and type their credit card number in. They're going to take 3.5%. Um, pay as you go, they're going to go ahead and take 3.4%. So assuming we're a new business and we're just starting out, we're going to go ahead and just kick the page you go $0 a month. And we're going to eat a little bit more money here when our clients or customers have to uh, fill in their credit card information. But let's just hope that they do a direct bank transfer. Now let's go ahead and click next as you click page you go if you're just starting out. And if you are moving a bunch, just go ahead and click low monthly rates and you're going to have a less merchant services fee, but you're going to pay a fixed rate of $20 a month. Sounds like I beat a dead horse. Okay. Click next pay as you go. Now we're going to go ahead and set up all of our business information over here. Sole proprietorship. Some of this information's already populated. Now, if you're a business bank account, you got to go ahead and grab a check and look at your information right down here. I'm going to click next, assuming you guys popped in the right information. It's not going to let me do that. But after that, we're going to go ahead and get the approval and let's go ahead and go to an email that I just sent. So here's what it would look like over here. I just sent myself an email. I'm going to go ahead and click view invoice now. And what do we got going on over here? $25 pay now. And again, you can see that they have the option either select credit card right here and they can punch in the card holder name, the credit card number, as well as the expiration and CVC. Or if we're lucky, they're going to do a direct bank transfer and fill out this information and they're going to click next and the money is going to be deposited in your account with a direct bank transfer in about three to five business days with a credit card about one to three business days. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. I'll see you guys in another video.